today I'm going to look at a, a first generation Power Mac G3. Uh, I've had this one for a while. Um, I was going to open it up, but as soon as I started trying, the case sort of started disintegrating. Um, but I'm pretty sure it boots. And I've got it hooked up with a adapter so that I can hook up my LCD. So I have this old style keyboard here. Sounding good. Now the primary reason I was doing some research and supposedly this G3 may run 10.2. I'm pretty sure it's got OS 9 on here at the moment. Let's have a look. Yep. Booting. Awesome. I also have a Power Mac 7300, which I will keep for OS 9. Uh, but for today, I am curious to see how well this first gen Power Mac can run Mac OS 10. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the base one, so it's a 233 megahertz G3, and I think it's got 128 meg RAM, so I think it's basically the slowest supported OS, uh, a hardware that will run Mac OS 10. It's been a while since I've used it, so. See if it works. Never done uh, an install of OS 10 over OS 9, so I don't know if it'll give me the option to dual boot or if it'll just do an upgrade. Um, let's have a look. All right, 120 meg RAM. That's good start. Right, I think it should work. Comes with three discs from what I can see. My first ever Mac was actually an iBook G4, which ran Panther. So I haven't really used 10.2 that much. Getting this out, it's proving to be Sees the disc, which is good. Welcome install. Not going to read before you install because I am not sure if this is going to work, and I don't really care. Cool. It's the new uh, logo. Don't think it has any lights. In the meantime, I've got this little Mac Mini running here, uh, running Yosemite, which I've been able to get uh, the Mac OS server installed, so it does uh, um, iOS and Mac. OS update caching, which is really cool. Um, we do a lot of laptop upgrades and stuff like that, and I've just got an external USB 2 drive, and I get you know a pull down 20 meg a second from this when we're doing you know, OS updates and stuff. So it's it's been really useful. Definitely worth the 25 bucks or whatever it was to buy the server version. Um, this particular uh, Mac Mini was very old, we put in extra gig of RAM, it's only got 2 gig of RAM and it gets an SSD in there, um, but for 
caching it works well. Okay. It definitely looks like the uh, old school 10.2 pinstripe design, as you can see. Alright. The mouse I have is very dodgy. I don't even know if this computer is going to have enough disk space free. It's got a 4 gig drive in it, I think, and it's got about 3 gig free. So I've got no idea what uh, 10.2 needs. Okay. This mouse is terrible. I think it's from like one of my uh, car classics or something, so it's very old. Okay, select destination. Cool. Requires 1.9 gig. Okay, I think we can do that. It hasn't asked me if it wants to dual boot or format or anything, so I've got no idea what's going to happen. Probably should read the important information first, but uh, definitely did not. Well, we might leave this going and we'll come back and uh, see how it's gone in a few minutes. Well, it's been about five minutes and uh, it looks like it's going to take a couple of hours to do the install. So I think we will come back in a couple of hours. Well, it is just rebooted. It hasn't asked for the second CD, so I don't know if we'll ask for that later. Let's see how it goes. My dog is whinging, as usual. What? 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 Yeah. Okay, I have to go play with my dog. Okay, it has spat out CD1 and now what CD2? Let's see if I can do this one handed bit better this time. Nope. <laughs> Seems like half of this install was printer drivers, so it'd be nice if there was an option to not install printers, because I am not going to be printing from this machine. Anyway, that's off. I will be back shortly. Alright, looks like it's just about finished. Fill out this oh, back. Yeah, there's no uh, spotlight, so getting to apps is interesting, and there's no expose either. Um, 
definitely a bit of a different design to the current Mac OS. It looks like the internet should function. Ooh, Internet Explorer, this is going to be interesting. It's not quick, but it actually feels more, uh, well, a bit more stable than iOS 9, which is not a surprise. How much memory are we using? Oh, I'm not even sure if it shows you summary. That's interesting. Let's fire up terminal. It's pretty much using everything. Which is not a surprise. Honestly, it actually feels quicker than I thought it would. Google still works. Now, I wonder how our website will work. It's an HTML5 site, so I'm assuming quite badly. Is loading, sort of. Alright, well, that's a very quick uh, rundown of upgrading a beige Power Mac G3 to Mac OS X. And honestly, that was pretty painless. Um, and it seems to be working yeah, surprisingly well. I, if it was me, I'd probably put some more RAM in it, but I could, you know, see myself using this as a machine back in the day. It um, seems quite suitable. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can boot back into Mac OS. Oh, startup disk. I wonder. Ah, yep, here we go. So it looks like we've got both options still. It doesn't, doesn't look like it actually brought across any user account information or files so it doesn't look like there's any migration stuff at all which is somewhat interesting I thought they would have built something in um, maybe there's a program to migrate your files across but for now that is macOS 10.2 on a beige palette